Hello everybody, I'm just finishing up the scorpion tail. Um, I'm not planning on showing very much detail about exactly how I did this, uh, just because all I did was extend the uh, extend a 10 circle loop over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So, you know, who cares? It's very, very basic stuff. And I'm sure that you can do it. But I wanted to show you what the final look looks like, and then I wanted to rig it with you. So, in order to rig this, uh, what we need to do is we actually need to... Um, let's go out of sculpt mode here. We actually need to consider the spine of the entire scorpion. So let's hit shift, shift C to put our joint, our, our system, our, our 3D cursor at 000. And then we want to add in a bone, a single bone. And as usual, we want it to X ray and wireframe. That's just a matter of personal preference. And we go into edit mode, we can move all of these around. So let's put this one here and then swing this down and around. Uh, let's move it up. Here. So as a remembering, uh, always remember that your joint balls need to be in the center of your joint um, uh, verts, whatever your hinged verts are. Uh, there are times when you don't want that to happen, but it's very rare. Now, Blender does have a whole bunch of uh, advanced features that can help you with this. For example, they have spine bones. But the problem is that Uni Unity doesn't interpret those very well. So it's better to use the basic bone structure so that Unity doesn't get confused. There we go. So now, what do we do? What do, we, do? we actually want to just go ahead and bind all of these together. So with automatic weights and then with automatic weights. And now, when we go into pose mode, we have a perfectly... Hmm, what's going on here? Well, they're definitely bound properly, but for some reason this armature isn't wanting to move. What's going on? I've never seen this happen before. Google. Blender. Armature won't move. Now these are all about people who didn't actually figure out how to bind their armature properly. Ah, here it is. Parts of armature won't move. Do you have the move object centers checked accidentally? It's a little button next to the pivot center selector in the traditional modes. Yep. All right. So uh, I guess this is probably worth uploading after all. I wasn't going to bother, but um, that's uh, annoying. There's a button here, which apparently I accidentally hit. And it makes it so you can't do anything with armatures. <laughs> All right, well, with that in mind, let's go ahead and see how this looks when we make it into proper scorpion shape. Now, you notice the tail doesn't have quite the same um, uh, feel as the, as the body that we built, but that, or the legs that we built, but that's okay. I don't really care. Um, that one's a little bit bad, though. We're going to go ahead and fix up this one, since this is one that the people are going to see a lot of. So let's go ahead and edit this. Uh, we need to edit it because there aren't quite enough um, mesh loops here. And this one needs to go inside of our shell. This one could come out and play as well. I still have the mirror modifier applied. I'm hoping that Unity doesn't um, misunderstand something. 
probably fix that later on. Uh, we also had a couple of small problems with these. So let's go ahead and move these down so that they don't collide quite as badly. That looks a little bit better. All right, so the next step would be to paint this. And as usual, we want auto normalize on, and then we'll set the weight to one. And then what we'll do is we will just make sure that all the the chitin here is all bound to this bone, and not bound at all to that bone. Mm, too big. So if I rotate this bone back, I'll be able to actually reach the chitin down here. Oh, darn it, there we are. Now, if we had enough patience, we would go through and do this for every joint, um, but the only joint that actually matters is the last one. That looks decent enough. <coughs> so let's just go ahead and take a look and just see how the body would look when the scorpion is actually stinging, um, which involves just bending everything way over. So that is our sting reach, and I think that that should be fine. I think that that looks reasonable. The claws will come out to about here, so the sting reach is uh, not as aggressive as the claws, but on the other hand, the sting reach will also probably be enhanced by a leap forward. So we do have quite a nimble little enemy here, and the only thing left for us to do is to create um, the, uh, uh, the claws. Oh, well, and of course the face. But... Um, the claws are going to be a little bit interesting just because they have some weird jointing to them. So that's when we're going to get into some a uh, little bit more complicated skeletal parts. Now, in this case, we have a skeleton here that is uh, bone, um, bone through bone 09. And that does not collide with any of our skeletal stuff for the legs. So we might as well go ahead and, and fix these together. Uh, the legs are all named uh, A through D and then R. Uh, now, it's all super basic stuff. I probably should have named it, you know, shoulder, bicep, whatever the technical names would be, but I didn't. Either way, as long as there's no collision between the bones, what we can, bone names, what we can do is we can just parent or join them together like so, and it should work, but we do have to restore the mesh. Uh, come on, stop. We do have to restore the mesh attachment point to the armature. There we are. And so now we have still one skeleton, for all of these components. Even though they are three different meshes, one skeleton animates them all quite easily. And in the next episode, I'll make claws.